Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in the need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and is appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, pop in your headphones, snack on some vakis, and enjoy this ASMR. I'll be right back, Emma. I just need to grab something. Alright? <laughs> now where could it be? Not here. Oh, hey. Sorry if I disturbed you. I didn't mean to. Hey, you must be the new kid here, aren't you? <laughs> Sorry about my introduction. The name's Norman. Huh? You don't speak? Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I, you know, talk. But yeah, welcome. This is your new home now. <laughs> don't worry. I'm really nice. And very intelligent. I'm actually one of the top smartest kids here. At the age of 12. Mm-hmm. You must have met Emma and Ray. They're really nice too, but Ray, he's a... Uh, he's really into, you know, being alone and reading books. I'm the same way, but Emma and I, we like to spend time together. Yeah, she's with the orange hair. Wait, huh? You've been picked on by one of the kids? Why would they pick fun at you? Everyone here is very friendly here. Oh, I see. <sighs> it's so mean. You know, introducing the new someone here, and they're already picking fun at you. I don't think it's cool at all. Don't worry. I'll make sure you're comfortable at all times. Yeah. Mm. You know what? I'll tell Emma that I'll... I'll stop hanging out with her for a bit. She's just playing tag with the kids at age four. I'd like to spend time with you. Is that alright with you? You can nod or shake your head. <laughs> Yeah? Alright. That's alright with me. Again, I don't really mind if you don't talk or not. At least it's communication. If you nod, or blink your eyes, or hand gestures. I don't mind that at all. I can tell what you're saying. <laughs> well, what should we do? Wait, I didn't get your name. Oh, your name's Listener. Well, it's a, that's a very pretty name. Yeah, it is. I see that tinge of blush on your face. You don't have to be nervous, Listener. I'm really nice, and I'm not going to hurt you or pick on you. Heck, I'm not going to pick fun at you for being quiet. I understand. Huh? What are you trying to say? I'll come closer. <laughs> You're blushing again. <laughs> Am I that attractive to you? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Now go ahead, whisper. 
You want to cuddle? <laughs> you remind me of little Phil. He loves to give cuddles, especially to Emma. He sees Emma as a mother figure, sometimes a big sister. Wait, how old are you? Oh, you're only a year younger than me. <laughs> sure, as new siblings, yeah, we can cuddle. Go on. <laughs> You have really nice hair. It's just a compliment. It's very... looks very soft. <laughs> you even got little freckles around your cheeks and nose. I find that really cute. I like to call those sun kisses. <laughs> and a little red nose. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> I do that a lot to Emma. Makes her blush. <laughs> oh, I know what we can do. I hope they'll make you fun. Let's make a pillow for it. Yeah, I do that a lot with my friends. I say we do it too. Yeah? Trust me, we'll make it so much fun. We'll use all the pillows in this room and blankets. Not if you say yes or shake your head for no. Then I'd say yeah. All right, come on. Let's go grab. You go grab those pillows over there and then I'll grab these from over here, okay? All righty. like a pillow kingdom <laughs> and I'll be the pillow fort king and you're the pillow fort queen or king whatever you go as once again I just want to make you feel more comfortable here whatever you go as I'll accept it <laughs> oh oh grab that pillow over there that could be the last one all right thank you Alright, I guess uh, we'll grab the blankets then. Gotta have like a little entrance. <laughs> and I think that's about it. Let's head inside, shall we? <laughs> There we go. I know it seems a little dark. Let me light up a candle. There. <laughs> we can tell ghost stories and maybe make hand puppets. Or, best of all, get to know one another. Once again, it's okay if you don't have to talk. You can draw something or use your, um, Sign language, I can understand a little bit. Or, best of all, you can use hand puppets. <laughs> I just wanted to make things very fun and easy for you. Because I understand, you know, being shy and not talking a lot. It happens with newcomers. When I was a newcomer, I was pretty quiet myself. But I got the hang of it with everyone else. <laughs> Now go ahead, uh, give me a sign what you're like. <laughs> you seem like a very lovely person. Maybe later on, today or tomorrow, maybe we can make something together. Yeah, 
I mean, usually me and Ray do a lot of, you know, breakfast and lunch and dinner. But I wouldn't mind, you know, showing you. We do make really nice meals. <laughs> Mom says me and Ray are really good, excellent cooks. I'd like to see what you can do. You like to collect flowers. Well, we have plenty of flowers here in the orphanage. There's some in the forest, too. There's so many kinds, and they're really beautiful. Yeah, we can do that. But not at this hour, because, you know, it's almost dinner time. Yeah, once again, you seem really nice. I think you and Emma can really get along very well. And Gilda, too. She's another girl, possibly around our ages, too. Yeah, I can see you girls, you know, gossip and maybe make some girly stuff like making flowers, drawing. <laughs> Give each other pigtails or ponytails, braids. <laughs> I like to do that, too. <laughs> I know it's not manly for me to do, but hey, I like to make things more comfortable for everyone. I can make things happen. Mom did say I'm a total gentleman. Huh? Aw, I like you too. <laughs> yeah, you can call me, uh, Oni-chan. I think that means big brother, right? Or big sibling? Or the older sibling? Aw. <laughs> I've always wanted to be like a big brother to newcomers. <laughs> yeah, you can hug me. Don't be shy. <laughs> Again, welcome to the family. And one more thing. I'm not sure if you know this, but soon we're gonna get out of here. It's not safe here anymore. Me and Emma saw one of our kids at age six was dead because we are known as demon meat to these demons. And we don't want to die of becoming food. We're going to find our way out so we won't die. Never say this to anyone, especially to mom. You got that? Nod for yes, shake your head to no. <laughs> Good. I'll make sure that they won't take you. We will get you out of here. And make sure we are not dead because of demons wanting to eat our human flesh. Do you understand now? Because tomorrow we're going to be training a lot to escape this hellhole. Understand, listener? <laughs> Good. Uh, that could be Ray at the door. It's dinner time. Hey, you want to come back later after dinner? All right, let's go make dinner together. I'll show you everything that we're doing, all right? Don't worry, it's something pretty easy for tonight. All right. Come on, listener. Thank you.